Three minutes ago, Logan Paul posted this video to YouTube. I lost $3.5 million on fake Pokemon cards. I, for one, have not been following this story much at all. I know that Rattle made a four-part series covering this story super closely. I hadn't seen that yet, so instead today, I'm gonna react to Logan's video and see what the deal is from himself. So here we go. Also, shout out to Prime, um, Logan Paul, and KSI, one of my best friends, just partnered up and did this drink company completely out of the blue, completely surprisingly to us all, which is sick. Uh, it's kind of weird that I'm now on my Pokemon channel reacting to Logan Paul talk about Pokemon cards while there's a promotion from him and KSI that I know through my music and my other work and it's weird it's just weird all right here we go let's play this thing so yeah we're in Chicago you see the title of the video uh, this that was sick so yeah we're in Chicago that was clean the video uh, this story is crazy and this sucks and i'm out three and a half million dollars so make sure to go get some prime because every dollar goes right back into my pocket <laughs> all right to go <laughs> now honestly it's really sick to see logan and jj do that together uh, i'm excited to see this video as well i feel like i've got this weird like connection with logan through jj but also through pokemon now as well you know it's nice to see new businesses by you know youtubers and content creators being started we've got ace grading that i've been working on that's got by the way some massive things coming in 2022 i'm really excited for ace right now but yeah let's go is it in here the whole thing is in here we're wow. sitting in the vicinity of 11 first edition base set pokemon boxes <laughs> that's crazy this will probably never happen again he released this photo to twitter just dropped three and a half million on the sealed and authenticated box of first edition pokemon card this was the most anybody had ever spent on pokemon cards ever i'm gonna tell you why i don't trust the case Shout out to Rattle. This is Rattle right here. Big, big, uh, you know, name in Pokemon. I know him from the uh, E4 forums, Discord, etc. Uh, but he is really good. You know, he puts a lot of detail into his videos and um, he's one of the most... You've got the side of Pokemon collecting that I'm kind of in, you know, the content creator side. But then you've got like the actual OGs, you know, the actual, you know, guys who've been here for now seven eight nine ten years um you know and they're the ones with the big brains know everything about pokemon and rattle is one of those people so yeah check him out he opens other tcgs as well i'll try and leave his link in the description of this video as well so check him out the contents or the authentication there's enough sketchy stuff going on about the origin of this box logan paul may have spent the 3.5 million on fake Pokemon card. This news has now reached Logan Paul, and it seems like he's taking this very seriously. He's going to fly to Chicago and sit down with BBCE to verify the validity of this box. Are you nervous? <laughs> nope. Well, about that, <laughs> yes. So I'm looking at it, there's nothing... It's funny because, like, I kind of feel nervous for Logan as well here because, you know, 3.5 mil is a lot to spend. Well, you know, obviously it's a lot to spend on Pokemon cards, uh, but it is such a unique item. However, you know, the authenticity has been highly questioned. Uh, and, you know, imagine just knowing that something you've worked hard to buy is just fake. And not only that, you know, the embarrassment of it being shared, it being viral of, you know, such an expensive purchase. You've got the fact that, you know, it's not even real. So, yeah. Nope. Well, about that, <laughs> yes. So I'm looking at it. There's nothing suspicious about the outside of the case. Quick context, this is Matt. He's one of the biggest sports card collectors in the world and he bought the Pokemon case for 2.7 million. He then sold it to me for 3.5 million, but he's become a close friend. And I could trust that he'd refund me if things went wrong. If we crack open that case tonight and inside are just a bunch of what do you do? Well, we know it's not because we <laughs> went through a uh, security check okay. in Philly. Okay. We just happened to go in a government building. <laughs> we know it's not yeah, yeah, we know it's not <laughs> the reason why I was mostly concerned was because the person who brought it to me, he had so many inconsistencies, so much inconsistencies right, in okay. the stories. It was like three, four different stories. That was my issue. Oh, Logan's nervous now. You can see that. So I believe, again, I believe what happened was uh, it wasn't necessarily the fact that the box doesn't have Pokemon cards in it. It's not necessarily that the cards inside the box are fake. I believe it's the fact that the well, let's just watch it. Let's find out. But I'm thinking what I heard as well is that the boxes are not necessarily first edition base set boxes. They might very well be unlimited base set, which obviously will change the price phenomenally. You know, there's not many cases of first edition, you know, base set booster boxes in the world, if any. But there are many, have been many unlimited base set boxes, if that makes sense. Guys from BBC, who authenticated it, are here to basically stamp their authentication. If this is fake, we're, in, we're all in trouble. The Pokey Jew? looks so good. There's first edition packs in there. We're, we're gold. The case value of this is going to double, triple. It, it would legitimately be verifiably 100% the only sealed case in the world that is 100% real. Your 
you're from BBC. Yeah, I'm the owner. Yep. You're the owner of BBC, yep. and you authenticated this. Yes, me and Michael are going to go over when it came to my office that day what I looked for, and then we're going to speak back and forth about why we like the seals. Yeah. If it's good, it's worth a lot more than the three point five dollars. In this case, <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's real. It's, 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 Back in March of this year. That's that, that's the part where I'm confused at, you know, because if it's real, it's worth more than five three point five million. That I, I kind of I'm kind of worried at that statement there because how, how does that make sense? If it's real, it's worth more than three point five million. But Logan bought it for three point five million, obviously on the assumption that it is real. You know, he didn't spend three point five million on a fake box, so therefore the price of the real box should still be the price of what it was, especially after it's been cracked, you know. I guess what they're trying to say is they're trying to say that, you know, we don't know right now, so once we know, then we know it's real. So then therefore it'll be worth more. But obviously, you know, again, someone sold it to Logan Paul on the basis that it's real. So why then would you know what I'm trying to say? This case came into my office. They asked for my opinion if the outside of this case had been tampered with, played with reproduced in any way. You can see in this piece of seal that was put on there by Wizards of the Coast that this tape is aged onto this case. This label too, the same embedded lines of the cardboard from age mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. in that label. There's no evidence of tampering. One edge would look different. In any way, shape, yep. or form. I did my diligence just like I do for a sports case. Oh yeah. <laughs> Logan's good. <laughs> right. I like where that's going though. I like, in, in this video, Logan seems to have a lot of alcohol in his hands, which is, you know, fair enough. Fair enough. A lot of money at stake. Oh, here they go. Oh my yes! god. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Mother okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's a good sign. What? Why are they so puffy? Why are they so puffy though? See how the shape all? They don't look right. They, they don't, don't look right. They don't, they don't look right at all. Uh oh. See how? See how they're, they're, they're like they're curvy and puffy. They're very light. They don't look right. Okay. Casually, just a box of you know a real first edition base set there, right <laughs> on the table. Okay, well, maybe 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 I shouldn't laugh right now. Let me let me get back to you know normality. This this is this is crazy. Why is it bending like that? Why is it bending like that? What's inside of him? Mother. Mother. Yeah, he knows. Mother. It's fake, bro. It's fake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's open a box. Oh, yeah, right? Oh, fuck. I kind of want to feel like there's another box. I, I don't know. I kind of want to hope this is just a prank. You know how when Logan did the prank before his, uh, you know, his his live stream where he, you know, threw the box and faked it. I'm, I'm hoping that he now planted a box here for the video, but I'm not getting that vibe. I'm not. I'm not getting that vibe. Why doesn't this one say first edition on it? Oh no. That, yeah. No, That's not like this. Yeah. Not like this. Oh my god, oh my god, bro. G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe? It could have been anything else. <laughs> That's so funny, actually. <laughs> Sorry. You know, heartbreak aside, that you know, he's right. It could have been anything else. It could have been Yu-Gi-Oh, man. D D Digimon. Could have been Digimon, you know? We all got duped. Agreed? Yeah. yeah. This is the biggest fraud in the entire history of Pokemon. So. This tape on top is just embedded into the cardboard. I don't know if Jacob knew it was. That's where it is. That's is where I'm at, right? There's gonna be a whole other process that goes into this. This is this is. I would have never purchased this sh if it wasn't BBC Rap. We only buy it because of that. But because of that, I felt confident it was legit. It was good. GI Joe, bro. GI Joe. That's the worst part. Seen the first edition stamps. We would have these. 
Yeah, this sucks, this, this sucks man. I, I, I know I've come, I've come into this video with a lot of energy. The reality is of this is it, it sucks. But what, what I'm, I'm, I'm happy in this, right, obviously, I'm not happy for Logan, you know. He's lost a lot of money. Um, Logan, if you're watching this, this, this really sucks. I'm sorry to hear this. But on the other side of it, you know, we know the outcome. And that's what's more, more important in the grand scheme of things in terms of Pokemon community, but also in terms of just the collectible community and just, you know, just life in general, you know. We can't have these running around being fake, you know. So it, it shows a lot of... It, sh it highlights a problem in the community and it highlights that, you know, we need to be careful, you know. There are people out there that want to make millions and millions and millions of dollars illegitimately and, and that's not good, you know. Uh, and it also shows you that people that we trust to authenticate things are not doing their job properly, you know. Shots fired, but yeah, this sucks. I I'm a super positive person, bro. And I'll always be the one to look at the bright side. And I'm trying, but this is very hard. It's just so sad for all parties involved. It's sad for the Pokemon community. Like, how, how many fraudulent things are out there? Yeah. Um, I'm grateful for the things that I have that are real now. I'm literally, like, I'm picturing my Charizard in my head. Oh, my God. Holy, so, like, something real. Something worth a lot of money that is real. Damn, bro. I just went from... <laughs> I just went from 11 first edition boxes... To five. No, yeah, to five. I'm, 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 Logan's going to get his money back, I assume. Uh, insurance, etc. As he said, the person who he bought it from will happily refund him anyway. But then again, you want to make sure that that person can then, um, you know, get their money back as well. But, you know, <laughs> 11 to five. <laughs> Still got five. But no, uh, jokes aside, this, this sucks. We got it. End of story. Fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe, 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 man. G.I. Joe, man. All right, well, anyway, guys, shout out to Logan, as always. I mean, shout out to Prime as well, by the way. As he said, he just lost $3.5 million to so go and support Prime. I can't wait to try it. Hope it comes to the UK as soon as possible. Hope I can do a video on my main channel trying it. Shout out to JJ and Logan with that. I do want to say a massive shout out to Rattle. Make sure you go and check his channel out right here. Rattle Pokemon. Search it. Go subscribe to it. Watch his content. You know, don't just watch this, but watch all of his content. He makes good videos. But as you can see here, you know, he's made a whole series, like a four or five part series of why this, this box isn't or is likely to be inauthentic as you can see right here you know why the logan paul first edition base case likely isn't authentic this is the first that i heard about it you know he did a lot of research these videos are very very in depth i haven't seen all of them yet i've seen glimpses uh, i've been meaning to watch the entirety of them uh, and now i've seen logan's video i can probably go back with a different perspective which is good as well but yeah shout out to rattle pokemon and again logan if you're watching this I, you know i'm super sorry to see this and hear this however at the same time i think it's good that you're you know bringing this to light you know it's better that we know it's better that you can show millions of people around the world with your content uh to make people care be, you know be careful in the future you know and hopefully you get money back hopefully the person you bought it from gets their money back but yeah in general i think it's better that we know than not know but again you are 3.5 million down right now and you are six boxes down which i think is what you probably dislike the most you know you wanted those six boxes because you purchased them and they're gone now um but yeah anyway Hopefully you're good. Um, and yeah, shout out to you guys for the support on the channel recently. Uh, daily videos are back again. This video might be on Thursday and then there might be no video on Friday, but you know, it is what it is. We've got to get the scoop when it drops live. Uh, but yeah, take care guys. Have a great day and a great weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.